Hi, I'm Allison in my violin studio, and I'm talking about staccato today. This is video number two of my um, staccato series that I'm doing today. Um, I want to talk about bow speed. Okay, when you do staccato, um, you, you know sometimes some people get hung up on details. This may not be an issue for everybody, but if you're going to play a quarter note. Let's say you're going to play a quarter note, and you're going to use kind of two-thirds of the length of your note, uh, length of your bow, excuse me. So there's your quarter note, quarter note, quarter note. Now, if that quarter note is going to be staccato, if it's got a staccato dot on it, then we're playing, basically what we're doing is we're doubling more or less the speed of your forearm. Remember, it's the forearm that's making that happen. Um, so we're getting, it's, it's kind of like if instead of driving from point A to point B at a moderate speed, you were to drive the same distance at double the speed while well, you get there in half the time. So we got there in half the time, which gives us half the time for sinking, biting back into the string. Okay. So in effect, let's consider and this is between you and me, and don't tell anybody I said so. Um, if you've got a quarter note that's a staccato, effectively you're going to play an eighth note with a high speed bow. So there's, and now I've got an eighth note to bite back into the string and get ready for the next one. Okay, so if I had four quarter notes like this. And I do it in and um, staccato instead, and, 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 okay? Now, if you start skipping those ands, all of a sudden you end up with <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it's no longer going to take up the same four beats, right? So it's important to realize that the amount of time that it takes to bite back into the string at the end of your staccato note is no is time you're actually technically stealing that from the note value that's written on the page okay so you could if you wanted to get all obsessive you, you know you could say well that should be rewritten as an eighth note with an eighth note rest and well sometimes composers do write that and and you know it's just kind of either or I want to point out to you that when you play with your bow going twice as fast, that's a high velocity note, um, it changes the physics, if you will. Um, if you don't have a good purchase on the string, and I mean purchase in the <laughs> in the 19th century turn, you, a good grab. And in other words, if you haven't got a good bite on the string, I always, I always jokingly like say, test the surface, test. You know, can you make your bow and your violin jiggle without creating any sound. Of course, I'm getting a little sound at the moment. Okay, then you're ready. You have bit, you are in the string. You're ready to start. Because it's kind of like um, a cannonball bursting out of a cannon. Um, I mean, it's gonna kick, right? It's gotta be able to kick against something. <laughs> so if you haven't really, if you just kind of, yeah, you, you won't have a defined beginning and you won't get a clean sound. So you have to bite in, okay? Then you do your high velocity note and bite right back in. And I gave an image on my first video, which was of a speedboat, which once you start it up, it rises up out of the water as it zooms. And then the minute you cut the engines, it slides back into the water. If you're playing a regular quarter note, it's not gonna do that because a regular quarter note is kind of like um, being in a rowboat. <laughs> if you're in a rowboat, there's no way, <laughs> no matter how hard you work the oars, that rowboat is not going to rise up out of the water because it's just not going that fast. So here's your rowboat note. I just stayed in the string all the way. Okay, those are rowboat notes. Those are low velocity. <laughs> Uh, low speed, just regular quarter notes, nice quality, get your violin to ring. And, and then when you have the staccato, be aware, your bow is going twice as fast, you need to have a really 
sharp beginning so that you're going to get a good sound. And you've got that time to bite in at the end. Okay, so I just wanted to clarify that for uh, some people uh, find that clears up some issues, just to have that pointed out. And if you didn't need it, so much the better. Um, uh, so good luck with that.